Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo, and uh, yep, this is Civilization VI, um, a game that I have been looking forward to since it was announced uh, about six months ago, um, and yeah, very much looking forward to uh, playing this. Uh, I have played it a bit, I have been running uh, my own game, but I'm going to make a new game uh, for this particular uh, thing, create game. Um, I'm also going to turn the volume down very slightly because the background music is quite loud. Anyway, um, so we'll play a single player game. I will pick a... I might go a random leader. These are all the leadership options we have access to. I've been playing as uh, England at the moment. England's leader is actually Victoria. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, but I think for the purpose of this video, we'll just pick a random leader and we'll go with whichever one we go with. We'll leave these on, but I'll make the map size standard. I generally play on huge maps, um, or large maps, uh, so you get all the sieves, but for the purpose of recording a video, just to show off what the game's like, we'll just make it that. Um, and it will be... Uh, we can shuffle it around, or we can just have continents. Continents are good. Um, continents are different in this game, actually. There is, of course, uh, the advanced setup if you want to really control uh, how you go with the game. Um, and you can set up world age and temperature and rainfall and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and what victory conditions. All, all the traditional Civ stuff uh, that it's possible to do. And, yeah, random seeds and all that kind of stuff. So, we don't need to do that. Um, so we're just going to start a game with this, and we'll see what leader we end up getting. The first stirrings we got of Germany. Water. Okay. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. I'll uh, let man Sean Bean talk us through the uh, steps, loading screen. You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Heroic Frederick, King of the Germans. Your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. You are blessed to be a great military leader. Use those skills to bring these cities under your sway, so that they may develop into commercial and industrial powerhouses. Surely then the bards will sing of mighty Frederick with the red beard, the great Holy Roman Emperor. Okay, so it's taking the... Um the Holy Roman Empire uh, aspect of German history and putting it in this into the game, which Civilization hasn't done. I don't think it's really talked about that aspect of German history so much. But it's, uh, ooh, and this is where we start, is it? Oh, let's have a good look at what we've got here. So this is uh, Civilization Six. This is the main uh, map. Uh, this game does some really, really cool looking things. We've got tea. We've got horses. We've got stone. We've got spices and we'll have wheat and marble and another stone and sheep very quickly if we settle pretty much where we are but what I want to do first I just want to move that warrior down because I want to see what's a little bit further this way okay um hmm I'm almost tempted to just move onto the corner onto this tile here but actually no that's a bad idea where we are right now I think is actually an excellent place to make the city so we're just gonna start there we start with Archen um, I'm gonna mispronounce badly most of these German city names but we'll see um, and already you can see one of the really cool things this game uh, does over the previous Civ game so you'll notice the area we haven't explored yet looks like a map so you've got this sort of big sort of mapped area unmapped area it's even got like ships drawn on it and there's a, a fish um, and a giant sea monster type thing. Squid, I know. I know it's a squid, but it's meant to be a sea monster. It's a whole there be dragons thing um, going on, which is really cool. And then you can see here, if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see the, these areas here, and it'll become more obvious as we go on. These areas here are just uh, using a, a sort of cell shaded uh, color saturation um, shader to make them look uh, hand-drawn and it's a really cool effect and it's a really great way of doing the fog of war in uh, this game so uh, we've made our city we need to choose production um, and a scout or a slinger uh, or a monument we can throw down a monument um, which will help build culture but I feel like getting a scout out might be the best option to begin with um, because that will allow us to explore rather than... Actually, no, I'll go with Slinger um, for the moment. We'll build a Slinger and we'll see how we go with that. 
Uh, we'll choose some research. Um, we are going to need animal husbandry if we want those sheep and these horses. Um, we'll need irrigation for those, but we can't get both. Um, I don't know what sort of victory type I want to head towards yet. Oh, and yet yeah, if we want the marble... Well, the thing is, we've already got horses within here. We've got stone horses, we've got tea, so... Uh, Ooh, mining or animal husbandry. I mean, we need to get both in the end. This would be better, um, but we may actually not even keep that stone district. We might get this one instead because that one's quite close to the city and I might want to build it, a, build a district there, which I'll talk about as time goes on. We'll start with animal husbandry, I think, for the moment. Um, and uh, move on to the next turn. So, the game I'm playing on has everything set to maximum in the sense, not the difficulty, obviously, I don't play... I'm not good enough on this game to play. Cliffs, oh! Battlemented crown, hushed oh! To a depth of more than Sabbath beach. That's a good place to find that. Um, the White Cliffs of Dover. So that's excellent. That means... And we've already boosted our astrology. So, I should talk about a couple of the systems in this game. And the first system I should talk about is that boosting system. So, if I bring up the uh, tech tree for a second, you can see uh, this is uh, the traditional sort of sieve tech tree. It's actually, they've actually split this into two different trees in this game. Um, and I'll, I'll show off the other one in a second. But you see here it says boosted, find a natural wonder. And you see they have these little things that say to boost, find a city on the coast or to boost, meet another civilization, all these things. So there are these things you can do. When you boost, it basically reduces the amount of research you need uh, to unlock a technology on the technology tree by half. Now you'll notice here that the starting three techs don't have anything that can boost them, so we have to research these, but that doesn't take that long. So we're not going to panic too much about that. Um, but yeah, oh, incense, jeez, we've landed in a really good spot. There's rice there, there's incense. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, and finding that natural wonder, there's a copper there, which will be great. Oh, hello, barbarian. Already found a barbarian. That's great for us, actually, because we can just smash these guys. Our warriors. And it's good, our warriors will start getting experience. Um, which is good for us. This is why I wanted to build a slinger, uh, early on, because... The thing I find with this game is that barbarians are fairly frequent and fairly aggressive. Um, I'm not gonna panic too much. Okay, there we go, that's... That's the barbarian encampment there. We shouldn't have too much trouble cleaning that out. Um, and we want to do that fairly quickly, so... Move down here and we'll have a crack at them uh, right now. Hello! Hello! So apparently we're right next to France, which being Germany is um, surprisingly accurate. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, I think it's Catherine de Medici is the correct way to pronounce that name. So she's the uh, French leader in Civ VI. Um, I have been told that every civilization has two leaders in this game, but I haven't encountered anything about that. So I don't know if that's true or not. I don't feel like it actually is. And that, that again just boosted, there we go, we've got a French warrior, so she must not be very far away. Um, We've got a French warrior, and you'll see here that that has boosted uh, writing um, for us, which might be handy if we want to go for certain kinds of victory conditions, um, which we probably will. Okay, we need to attack that. Major defeat? Maybe we don't want to attack that then? I'm going to back out of that. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do much about them for the moment. Um... Yeah, I was hoping to win that. Might need to get that slinger out before we start winning there. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. Um, move, move this way. Yeah, we'll chase that uh, scout that's there. Once I've got uh, the slinger out, I'll probably build a monument. Um, move into there. There's nothing that scout can do if we do that. Can we attack them? No. Damn. Um, the other thing that this game has, I think Civilization Five had it as well, is if that it has this no nice, heaven, uh, Then when I go. die, I want to go where they went. Yes. Um, I do love, uh, Sean Bean, uh, doing all the quotes and, uh, basically replacing, uh, the late Leonard Nimoy as the main sort of voice of the game. I think he does a pretty good job. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, that's our slinger. That's we want want to move them down. 
because that's how we're going to be able to take out that barbarian village. Uh, we need to find research. Now, do I want astrology? It will let me build Stonehenge. If I want to go for a religious victory, that's a good idea. On the other hand, um, I do want mining, and I probably am going to end up having to get my pottery at some point as well. I do want archery as well, because that'll give us the archer unit, which is pretty powerful. Um, but i am got the opportunity to boost archery. I've already got astrology boosted, um, but I'm not sure I want to go for that before I go for mining. I think mining will be our next choice at the moment. Um, so I'll choose production. Uh, settler, really? Um, I'm not convinced I need a settler just yet. Although, actually, yeah... Early Settler can be good, because then all of a sudden you've got two cities working together. Um, early Builder might not be... Uh, our advisor says Settler, but I don't always trust the advisor's advice. Um, monument might not be a bad idea either. I feel like a Builder is going to be handy, because I do need to start getting stuff happening around here, and it's a good opportunity to show off the Builder. So we will bung out a Builder before we bung out a Settler, I think. Um, see what we can find over here. That is a tribal village. Okay, and the French are not going to beat me to it, I hope. Move forward and try and get that. So tribal villages are basically the um, uh, sort of ancient uh, ruins and stuff that you had in the previous Civ games. That's basically what tribal villages are. Okay, the French are going that way, so that's fine. That's fine for now. Um, and we'll head Hopefully the Slingers can attack from that spot there. I, archers can, I know that, but I don't know if Slingers can. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so that just got us 40 gold, so that's a nice little bonus um, that time. You can get, uh, like, uh, techno- Whoa, okay, that's not what we wanted to have happen there. That was a mistake, and my warriors are going to have to come back. My slingers are going to have to get the hell out of there. Because uh, that is not something I want to lose right now. Oh, they're coming. Oh, no. I'm going to lose those slingers. Nope. It would not be worth it. I'm not going to do that. Ah. Uh, uh, hang on, no, 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 we don't want to do that, what I want to do is move them right back, um, and hope that they don't go after the next turn, because right now, oh boy. Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. Okay, so we finished our, our Code of Laws Civic, wisdom, and this will let me show off the other technology tree in Civilization VI. Um, so, let's start by talking about government in this game. Government works differently in this game to what it worked in Civ V and what it worked in Civ IV and Civ III, because government and the way governments work in the Civ series changes with every game. Um, Civ 5, you might remember, it was all about those uh, sort of uh, talent trees that each sort of policy uh, thing had and stuff like that. And in this game, you get cards. So what we get, first off, I'll show this scene. This is sort of the summary screen that shows you what you've got uh, and what your current government is. This is the policy screen where you can set what policies you want. These are our policies. Um, at the moment, uh, we only have a couple of policies, so we'll go those, and we will get uh, plus one f production in the city, so that will be our policies. But before we head out, I will show this. This is the governments, and unlocking particular civics in the civic tree will unlock uh, these governments as time goes on, and as you see, this sort of stage. So we start off with Chiefdom, um, and then there's an early civic we can get that will actually unlock all three of these, and then there are civics that unlock the remaining six as the game goes on. Um, but we've set these policies, we've got these policy cards, we could also have that card, um, and currently our government doesn't let us have diplomacy policies, or wildcard policies, which is basically a slot for a policy of any, there are different cards, you see these are red, so they go in the military policies, yellow, there's also, uh, diplomacy is green, and there are purple policies as well, as well, that can only be used in the wildcard, I think, so we'll confirm those policy agendas, and we'll head there. 
pull those guys all the way back to my capital so that they are protected and we will choose a civic so this is the civics tree and it looks a lot like the tech tree but it's for the well as the name implies it's more for the the civics policies rather than the tech policies. and you see this is the one i was talking about uh political f philosophy which unlocks those first three government types there and basically what happens here is that these are how you unlock those cards that i was putting into that sort of into the card slots um so we have craftsmanship which will give us uh yeah, and I could actually boost that fairly quickly. Um, I don't have the foreign trade one yet, unfortunately, which means I haven't unlocked the trade. Um, I'm probably going to go with craftsmanship at this point, um, because it'll have the more direct benefit, and I am getting a builder. So I should be able to boost it, um, which means I'll be able to get... Yeah, the, the, the Ilkum card. So we'll see how we go with that, but that will be our setting for the moment. And we have discovered Toronto, which is a city-state. Um, so city-states are back from Civ Five. Um, just, oh boy! When you find yourself in a, a lot hole, of things are coming. Quit us. digging. Okay, so that's mining, um, which we've now discovered. So we need new research. And of course, you can quickly see what you're researching here. Like I said, I've got astrology boosted. I should have. I don't have pottery yet, do I? Uh, do it the wheel yet? Horseback riding would be handy because it'll let me build the um, things I need. But astrology is boosted. And I'm really tempted to do that just so I can get an early head start on Stonehenge. But I'm not sure I really want to do religion, um, all that detail. So, oh, actually, you know what we should get? We should get riding, which means we will have to get pottery because um, riding is boosted, and that will give us access to the campus district, which would be handy. And we need, oh, we need irrigation too. Um, oh, but that's fine. We can boost that. Let's get riding now because uh, riding is not boosted. So we're going to do that. Um, I like having the day-night cycle on, uh, as you can probably tell. I know some people don't. I do. Let's uh, use our slingers on these guys. When our, where is our warrior? Our warrior is there. So he's going to have to come up behind these guys and have a crack at them. The annoying part of this, I'm about to throw down a builder. Ah. So the French don't actually exist in my um, other game at the moment, so I haven't seen any of the French quotes, so that's all new to me at the moment. Okay, so they're running away because they're scaredy cats. Can I... I can major victory. Cool, that's what we wanted. Okay, can I attack them uh, from there? No. I can move them to there, but I don't think I can attack once I do that. Yes, I can. Okay. And that should eliminate that group and give me XP for both my military units, which is nice. And we boosted archery, which is excellent um, and exactly what we wanted. Uh, so, um... Yeah, okay, so we're going to have a builder this turn, which is good, because we need a builder. Uh, so, and I'll get to show you what the builders do uh, as we go on. Okay, there's our builder. Um, the other thing I will do is I'll fortify that unit until it heals, and I will move... Oh, oh, no, 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 I, I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and you can't undo a turn. You cannot undo a turn. Um, I really wish I hadn't done that. Uh, I meant to move this unit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I guess we're waiting till next turn. Um, so, uh, I will throw down a scout uh, now. And then we will think about building that monument that we've been looking at not building for a while. Um, so, this game has a system called... They were supposed to fortify until healed. Um... This game has a, uh, a system, uh, whereby you can... Oh, I can't harvest that yet. Okay, cool. So we can build a quarry here, uh, on the stone. And by doing that, we boosted masonry, which we need to actually remove the stone from that tile. Um, because we've got these luxury resources and we've got the horse there, um, and I should show you what I did then, too. So the builders, uh... 
allow you to build the improvements. They, they replace the working unit from previous Civ games, um, and they work in a much different way. Um, the main thing is that builders only have a limited number of things they can do before they disappear. So, in our case, this particular builder is about to go over here, where they will uh, wait for a turn. Um, oh, that's so nice of you. France and Germany are going to end up being remarkably good friends in this game. Oh boy. Okay, so that's our scout. Scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Yes, so that's our scout, and we will throw that scout that way. I do need to figure out where France is. I suspect they're over here somewhere. Um, so maybe I should go on that way. Okay, so we can build, and you'll see here uh, with the builder, so you've got the, the number of builds remaining. Once it runs out of builds, the builder is actually used up and you need to build another one. Um, and yeah, so you can't automate them like you can workers. Um, there's no way to automate them. You have to be proactive about building improvements uh, in this game. Um, and that gives us a massive boost to horseback riding as well, which is great. Um, I really am going to need irrigation uh, soon too. Um, okay, let's get that settler. Let's pop that settler out because uh, we, we do want to start getting that down there. if we don't, we're going to have problems later on. Main reason for this is I want to try and claim that, that wonder that's down there, but I also... Oh, that's not good. What the hell? No oh. man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance. Okay, I'll just cut that for the moment. Um, major victory! Yeah, I'll take that. Especially because if my slingers can have a crack at him as well, which they can... Oh, no, we're gonna, gonna use the builder now. Um, uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea, because I think going there and building a farm will actually boost craftsmanship. Which is great, because <laughs> I planned to do that. So, that that consumes our... Um, okay, let's move him into there. We got a Philosopher's Stone. This is... Okay, so great works are how you do culture in this game. Um, and because we have a palace, because you always get a palace, um, you can keep at least one in there, and that will generate tourism and faith. So we're going to start generating faith, which is, of course, the religion currency in the game. Um, so that's really handy, uh, and it allows us to, uh, yeah, it allows us to start generating tourism and faith very early in the game. Um, Tourism, I haven't fully figured out how that works, but yeah. Um, unit available for promotion, really. Oh, they are too. Uh, not quite yet, though. Uh, oh. What they... Oh, can I not attack? No, I can't, apparently. I thought I could attack, but apparently I can't. And we completed a quest for the Toronto city-state, which means we've got an envoy in the city-state, which I should... Uh, Let's talk about city-states. This is Toronto, this is the number of envoys we have, um, and we get benefits for having more envoys. This is how city-states work now. You have envoys, which basically replaces the old influence system from Civ 5. Um, there's a lot to talk about in this game. Um, but yeah, envoys are... But the, if you're the civilization with the most envoys, he should get destroyed. Cool. Oh, jeez, there's another one. Wow, okay. You're the civilization with the most envoys, um, but my warrior can get promoted. And I will get that. Um, and you'll notice that promoting heals, which is great. Uh, unit needs orders. Can they re They can be promoted too. Um, and we'll do that. Which means that unfortunately uses up their turn, but that's okay. The other cool thing about city states now, um, even though I just did that because I wanted to use up turn, they don't get angry if you move your military units over their territory now. Um, at least my understanding is they don't get angry about that stuff anymore. So that's handy. Um, we are going to have to just with this. Because this is not great. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. 
Okay, so we got craftsmanship, uh, which has unlocked two more policies. Apogee, um, which if we want to build a big army early would be handy, and Ilkum, which if we want to build a bunch of builders early would also be handy. I am not going to change what I've got at the moment because I want to... Um, I want to... Uh, just do a bunch of general stuff at the moment, so... Uh, why can't they attack? Why is that not within range attack range? Do I need to be up there? I've used up that turn. That's annoying. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Um, okay, I'm going to send my scout back this way, because uh, I want to find out what's going on with France down there. Uh, we'll see. Choose a civic, uh, military tradition, foreign trade, uh, let's have a look at our civics tree. Um, I haven't discovered a second continent yet, but that probably won't take that long. State workforce gives me access to uh, wonder production and conscription. Um, hmm. Early empire might not be a bad thing to work towards. Uh, because then, doing that, I, I need that to get political philosophy anyway. Um, and I'm really tempted, that, that will also mean that I will need to get foreign trade uh, if I go for early empire. So, one of the things you can do in this game is you can sort of select a point. So, say we want to get political philosophy, um, and it'll automatically trigger all the things we're going to need to work towards to do that, um, which is these four things. And we do want to get to political philosophy, so, uh, even though it's going to take a while, th this turn count will obviously reduce as time goes on, um, even though it's going to take a fair while to get there, I think, uh, it's not a bad choice. In fact, oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, so it will reduce as we get there, and we'll obviously have to get all these things, uh, on the way there, um, but we will do that, because those are all of the things we need to get there anyway. Um, so really really need to clear out that village because it just keeps sending these warriors at me and I can't settle uh, without them. okay so bronze working has advanced great so we got a boost for bronze working uh, fortify until healed Get around there so we'll open that area up and yeah you can start to see the effects uh, so you can see uh, the little drawn in it's actually just 3d objects I think it's just a shader effect um, on the map, but it does look really nice, uh, it works really well. So, uh, unit needs orders, yep, uh, send them down there. Just have to hope that, uh, we don't get any more of those, uh, pikemen, uh, was it pikemen spearmen coming at us? Okay, so we've got, we've got visual of, uh, where we need to be. Oh wow, this looks really nice over here. There's a lot more resources. It's also a barbarian scout. That's fine. And yeah, you can see even with the fog of war. Oh, here we go. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Okay, so we've unlocked districts. Districts are the new thing in uh, Civ 6 uh, for cities. Um, and they allow you... Uh, I'm going to move that slinger all the way over there, hopefully. So, districts will allow us... As I head this way, I hope that I'll actually find something interesting there. Um, so if I bring up here, what we can do is, well, we're producing stuff at the moment, but if I go to purchase items, um, oh, we don't have any districts we can put down yet, okay. But districts are basically, they take up a tile, so if we have a close look at Archon, um, I'll bring out the city details, I need two amenities too, oh, amenities. So amenities are what replaces essentially the old happiness mechanic from Civ 5, um, Cities need amenities, and civilized, and citizens in cities demand amenities, so they demand 
a certain number of men, so they require, as it says there, um, and if you have less than that, they won't be happy with you. If you have enough, they will be happy. Um, the other thing they need now is housing. Um, so you need to build uh, districts and improvements, farms and all sorts of stuff in your city. Various things that you build in and around the city will provide housing. Um, and you need to do that. Uh, let's... Uh, I have a lot of boosted technology sitting around here right now. Um, we could have the pyramids wander. So I'm not really near enough to a desert to build the pyramids, am I? And there's no desert near me at the moment. Um, horseback riding would give us access to the horseman unit and the stable. Um, astrology would let us build Stonehenge. Archery would let us build archers. Let's get archery for the moment. Uh, okay, can my slingers do significant damage? The warriors then come down and also do significant damage. Okay, let's bring the scout all the way over here. So I'm really curious to know where Catherine is. That must be her there. That must be France there. And this turn we're getting a settler. Uh oh. Oh, that was rough. Is that that was not as rough as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we've got our settler. Um, need to decide uh, where to put them. Let's finish off the slinger. Oh, okay. Uh, before we do that, let's finish off this warrior. That went well. Um, might, uh, while we're at it, just, uh, options. I might turn off the, uh, time of day stuff, because I realise it's probably going to look a bit bad on the video uh, for the moment, so we'll, we'll, we'll hold that off. Oh, hang on, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Uh, options. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. Okay, confirm. So I'll just have it in daylight, because I think for the purposes of the video, it's probably best to... Hmm, okay, well, I wanted to put a city down where the White Cliffs of Dover were. Um, the game's recommending a couple of other spots. It's actually recommending a spot right there. Um, it's recommending there and there. But I really want my city to be here. Because that way it'll get the White Cliffs. Um, so that's... It's a bit of a risk because of the uh, barbarians that are coming at us. But that's where they're going to go. Okay, is that France? can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's France. Oh! Hey, guess what? We can uh, start a Pantheon. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. I have a lot of these things near my capital, so Goddess of Festivals may not be a bad choice here. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Goddess of Festivals, um, for the moment, and we've boosted Mysticism. Awesome. So we are working towards a religion, even though we're not actively working towards a religion. Um, but yeah, so, uh, choose production in our city. Now, Granary would be excellent, um, but we can also build our campus. Now, there's a couple of things to know with districts, uh, and you can see a couple of them on this map already. First things first, um, you can overwrite, say I could build uh, the campus here, but it would overwrite the farm. The same is true of this, uh, where there's this forest area here. Um, the thing with this, if I put the campus here, it destroys the forest, but if I build a builder, and the builder goes out and clears the forest, and then I put the campus there, I actually get production from uh, the forest. On the other hand, I could just put the campus there, but that is supplying us with two food, uh, so... Uh, but it is a clear area. We will throw down our campus there for the moment. Um, Archon's going to need to expand. I'll need to clear that and put a farm there or something else. The other thing to do with uh, 
districts is that if you build a triangular shaped district, so you get like three tiles or diamond shaped districts like that, um, districts that are next to each other benefit each other, um, which means that they will uh, help each other. So that's a nice thing to do. Um, I'm going to fortify that warrior. Oh my god, that's a lot of barbarian units. That's a terrifyingly large number of barbarian <laughs> units. Bring those slingers over there. Uh, is that where I said the settler should go, or did I say the settler should go there? I think I said it should go there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. there, range attack that scout. I can't really do anything else about that. Um, so hey, you got a promotion, which means... Uh, that way. And then uh, you can go... Oh, oops. Oh boy, I'm gonna lose that scout. Oh well. Well, that was foolish. On the bright side, they're going to lose a scout very shortly too, and hopefully we're going to get that village out of the way. The settler's where it needs to be too, which is good. Uh, and that's about where I want to put it. So we will found that city. And that gives me sailing, because I put it on the coast. You don't need to put cities on the coast to build harbours with them either. Um, harbours function as a district now, and they can be built within about three tiles of the main city, so... Quarry is almost a really good choice for the city, but we're actually going to throw down a monument first. I haven't built one in uh, my capital, actually, a monument. So this is Magdeburg. Um, oh boy, am I going to lose that scout? I am going to lose that scout. Here we go. Goodbye, scout. That's annoying. May oh, well. the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Um, you know what you can do when you have 30 gold in your bank and you have a slinger? You can turn them into an archer, which is super handy. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to have to throw down a builder at some point too. Bond's working, that's not a bad option at this point. Let's see where we are on the tech tree here. Um... I've got archery, I've got a bunch of, I've got sailing, which means that I could, could grab that, it's only four turns to grab that too, um, or we could enter the classical era before everyone else and get horseback riding, ooh, that's tempting as well, um, no, I think, uh, no, I don't want astrology, uh, masonry may not be a bad option at this point, I think we'll actually get sailing, so because we've got that city on the coast, might be useful to be able to build the fishing boats. Um, so we'll grab sailing uh, just quickly, and uh, we will... Can I finally do something about that? that uh... Ah, awesome. So we did boost early empire, which we were working towards, remember? So... Hopefully I can take that village out next turn. To solve a lot of problems. Yeah, here we go. Right. That's that dealt with. And it gave us military tradition boost as well, which is nice. Um, anyway, uh, so this is... <laughs> this is uh, how things go early on in Civ, I find. Um, try and use these warriors uh, to get a bit of exploring down this way done, and also maybe chase away some of these uh, barbarians, um, and yeah, I'm going to need more amenities in Archen. So this is what happens when you run low on amenities, the citizens start getting restless, um, so we're going to have to throw down a builder. Once that campus is built, I'll uh, get out a builder. Actually, the campus will provide amenity uh, too, so, which is handy. 
It is not that life assure is distasteful. Okay, we got sailing. That took no time. That's whatsoever. the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. And we got uh, foreign trade, um, which has given us access to maritime industries. Um, if we want to start building boats, I don't yet want to start building boats. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we've got at the moment. Um, although I could probably throw that down uh, while I'm building a builder. Or I could probably just buy a builder uh, with gold. In fact, that's not a bad idea if I can do that. Because you can still do this. Uh, so if you've got the money, you can, of course, build, buy things with gold. We could actually buy a monument in that city with gold, too, if I really wanted. But I think for the moment, the builder is slightly more important. Um, so we'll throw that down. Choose research here. Uh, so do I really want astrology? Do I want masonry? Get the battering ram. Bonds working will let me build that, and I'll be able to see iron on the map. Um, I'll get bonds working. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, early Civ 5. I don't know if I'm going to do much more uh, video stuff with Civ 5 because it's a very complex. Well, it, it's a complex game. Um, and there's a lot uh, to sort of cover with it obviously um, this is just the first few turns on what is effectively my second play of the game um, as opposed to the main game I've been playing for a while um, and if I don't if I don't pick a point to stop in this video I will never stop in this video um, and that, that that's it this video will be three hours long if I don't uh, if I don't decide to stop now uh, is what I mean um I haven't got irrigation yet have I Okay. Um, no, I don't. And what I should do is I should go there uh, with the builder. And I talked before about the fact that uh, we finished that there. Yeah, granary will be handy in that city. That will actually give amenity as well, the granary. Um, I think I talked before about uh, clearing the forest. So I think we'll just go one more turn. I can just show that off and then uh, we'll... Oh, whoa. Where are you going? Good, that way. Builders, like settlers, can be captured by barbarians and foreign powers. Um, it's just an unfortunate fact of those particular entities. So, if I press this button here, it says remove feature, we get 34 production uh, to the city, and then I can use that district for a farm or a district or whatever. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's uh, Civilization 5. I am going to leave it there because if I don't, like I said, this video will just go on for hours. Um, and I'm sure that will be just entertaining to basically nobody. So uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for the moment. I'll probably keep playing this game though. Um, because I really can't stop myself. Um, but I have other things to do. Uh, so yeah, Civilization 6. I, did I call it Civilization 5 before? I might have. I might have accidentally said Civ 5. This is Civilization 6. Um, it's really fun. It's... Uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I think it improves on what they did with Civ 5, which I think was probably the biggest sort of overhaul and improvement on the series since Civ 2. Um, and I think this has made the game a lot better um, than Civ 5. Um, but yeah, so at Civilization 6, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.